Hi, welcome to another installment of CBIT 2012. I'm joined by Yost, who is OCZ's Director of Marketing. Yost, it's great to have you on the show again. You've got a brand new SSD here. It's the latest in your Vertex range, which has been at the top of the SSD ladder for quite some time. It's the performance drive. Everybody knows the name, but this one is actually quite different to the Vertex drives we've seen so far. So tell us what's new about this model. Well, first, welcome to, uh, to our show, uh, to our booth here at CBIT. Thank you. Um, we're actually very excited to be here again. Um, to come back to, uh, to your questions, uh, let's start with Vertex 3, our launch of Vertex 3 last year, also here on CBIT. Um, our launch was, we were first to market with that drive, with the Sandforce controller on there. It was the fastest drive out there, and uh, everybody was very happy, including us, of course. Um, there's been a couple of bugs in there. Um, that have been solved very well, uh, very quickly actually. Um, so what's different with the, the Vertex 4 right now is that it's going to hold an IndyLynx controller. Which is your own proprietary it's, controller. Which is our own controller um, and has a completely different architecture. Um, the difference between a Sandforce controller and an IndyLynx controller is that the uh, Sandforce controller is working on compression. Uh, so you get a file, you compress it, then you transfer it, and then you put it on the location that you want it. Which makes it ideal for certain data types, but not so good exactly, with others. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Right. Whereas the uh, IndyLynx controller, it doesn't matter what type of file, how big it is, or how many files at the same time, it will transfer that file the same way all the time. Okay, and it's the IndyLynx Everest 2 controller, which is the next generation, exactly, yeah. which is exactly. going to debut in this so drive. In the previous... IndyLynx uh, SSD, which is our current model, it's the Octane and the Petrol series. Uh, that is the Everest 1 controller. And in the Vertex 4, it will be the Everest 2 controller. Okay, now we've seen the performance of Everest 1 in the Octane. We did yeah. a review on that recently. You've seen that on Hexus. Yeah. Uh, the Vertex 2 has got the Everest 2. The, sorry, the Vertex 4 has the Everest 2. What kind of performance are we going to expect from that? Is it going to match Sandforce? Yeah, it's, it's going to be Sandforce-like. Uh, yeah. Uh, with the difference then, uh, when uh, you have an incompressible file, it will still show you, the, provide you the same performance. Okay, and how is performance going to scale ac across various capacities? Obviously on Sandforce it is dependent on yeah. the amount of NAND. Yeah. Is that going to still be applicable here? Yeah, um, minimal, yeah. There will be minimal difference, differentiation between the, the capacities. Okay. Um, but in real world, negl negligible. Okay, so what capacities are going to be available at launch, and when do you expect at that launch, to be? At launch, the regular up to, uh, well, the, the, let's say the controller is up to, uh, uh, compatible up to two terabytes, um, which is higher than, than any current generation. But at launch, you will have the, the regular capacities, like 128, 256, 512. Okay, and when will the launch be? Is it going to be next this couple of weeks? Or this spring, this spring so yes, not long already, to go. Yeah. Yeah. And how about pricing? How competitive are you going to be to say your existing range? Is this going to slot in around Agility, Vertex, let, or, let, or Let's above? say competitive. Competitive with Sandforce. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and earlier on in the interview, you commented on bugs that you had with the Vertex 3 at launch. I'm glad you mentioned it yourself, yeah. because every time we talk about OCZ, every time we write about yeah. you or we video you, some of the first comments we have are, by OCZ, word of mouth yeah. spreads very quickly on the internet, exactly. and it, uh, yeah. it I know. can I'm have well an impact. Aware. I'm well aware of that. Um, <laughs> so, what do you say to people that say, "Don't buy OCZ if you want a reliable SSD"? Well, don't trust that judgment. That, that's the first thing I'm going to say. Um, the first, uh, a lot of that comments are based on um, misconception, maybe um, confusion in the market. Uh, we're not going to deny that there were no bugs. There were bugs in the firmware, no hardware, but firmware. Um, but we've dealt with them, dealt with them uh, fairly quickly. Um, if anybody had any problems, I told everybody, come to us, we'll deal with your problem, we'll help you, we'll solve it, we'll solve it for you. Um, and at, this, well, at a certain point, then the problems were completely gone. There is a very, very slight situation that you might have in a certain software which was recently addressed, um, but that's very, very rare. Okay. In, in almost any case, pretty much every case, in normal consumer range, you will not experience any problems. Okay, and the with quality, the Vertex quality 4? Quality-wise also, it's, 
it is as good as any other drive. Okay, and with the Vertex 4, do you think it's been easier for yourselves to produce a firmware for your own controller? It's all in-house. Do you reckon that's made the certification process any easier? Easier? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it did. You have uh, everything uh, under control yourself. Um, but let's say initially, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Okay. And what about warranty? How many uh, years are you going to apply to the Vertex? Three four? years. Three years uh, standard yeah. warranty. Standard, standard, for us, it's standard warranty, yeah. three years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, Joost, that's a fantastic insight into what OCZ is doing. Okay. So thanks very much for that. And uh, we'll have the Vertex 4 info review very soon. So uh, check back for that on Hexus.